What is the biological value of a single crop's health? Most of us are familiar with the movie titled The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. It is a 1966 epic movie. I'll spare you the details, but one thing that stood out in the movie was the fact that there was a competition to find fortune in a buried box of gold. This resonates with the silent war that exists today in addressing food security and food safety issues in sub-Saharan Africa. There is no doubt that all aspects of agriculture are important in engaging engineering process of economic and social transformation of a nation. But can a sick crop contribute anything of biological value to a nation? Perhaps the answer may come when you replace a plant's health with that of a human. Growing up in a remote area in northern Nigeria, one thing I was familiar with was the lush, the rhapsody, the ambience of green vegetable fields cultivated along the river banks just two streets away from my mother's restaurant. Of course, I got to run errands, especially to buy leafy vegetables from a farmer who was called Mr. Yakubu. So I had a fair idea of what a healthy vegetable field looked like. Today, those fields are no more, not because of urbanization, but because there was a heavy disease plague in the mid-90s, which affected cucumber, cabbage, lettuce, and tomato. It was so devastating that it defied all efforts made by the farmer cooperative back then in the day. One after the other, they started living because their plants were dying without any known solution. There was drastic reduction in the quality of their vegetables and consequently reduced marketability of those produce. Perhaps this singular early childhood experience ignited my passion for plant pathology, which is the study of plant diseases and their management. As a crop health and management expert, I have come to realize that the effort of a farmer is wasted every time a crop dies. The gross domestic product of a country is affected every time a crop dies. Every time a crop dies, the vast majority of the people are inclined towards the poverty line, especially for most countries in Africa whose major source of livelihood depend directly or indirectly on agriculture. Mr. Yakubu and his helpless fellow farmers represent a significant number of agricultural business wrecked by plant disease across Africa. Two classic examples come to mind as I ponder on the content of this presentation. First was a recent outbreak of tomato Ebola in Nigeria in 2016. Infested tomato plants were devastated within 24 to 48 hours of attack. There was apprehension across all tiers of government and agencies. Farmers were disenfranchised of their return on investment as a result of the outbreak. The market price structure of tomato changed overnight, such that tomato, which was sold for 300 naira, equivalent to $1.50 per basket, skyrocketed to 1,500 naira, which is about $7.50, and it represented 80% increase in cost of its retail price. The second incidence was the incidence of armyworm invasion, which is currently destroying corn fields in Africa. And this is alarming, and prediction models have shown that there is likely to be a drop in corn production by 40%. By April of 2016, the pest had traveled to several other West African countries and to Central Africa. By December, it was detected in Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Malawi and was storming South Africa's borders. By May, Ghana's parliament was asked to, by the Minister of Agriculture to declare a state of emergency on the crop. I and a team of young, talented professionals through an initiative called Farm State Empowerment Network have since 2013 been working with some communities in central Nigeria to help them suppress pests and diseases on their fields. We are realized that Crop health must be given priority in the fight against hunger in Nigeria and other African countries. We are determined to make a difference, starting from where we are. So, do plants have a right to health? I say yes. Do they have a right to be eaten? Well, I leave that up to you. But keep in mind that a healthy crop equals a healthy people, and a healthy people equals a healthy nation. Thank you.